centuries. This was the preamble. They would have the Easter service, and they'd tell this part of the story to build up that anticipation of what would come next. This was the part that had us waiting for a different ending. This was the part that allowed the great news of Easter to ring more highly and more fully, that our hallelujahs would be more bold because of this particular part of the story. But we didn't stop here at all. Used it to get to where we wanted to go. To victory, to triumph, to God conquering all the things that bring us here fear, sadness, hurt. I think this service matters. I think this day matters. And 
in one of those reflections, she talks about the cross and God's one. That in that cross, in that moment as Jesus hung from the cross, in that moment where Jesus experienced what it was to be confused, to feel isolated and alone, maybe even angry, humiliated, afflicted, he wore us. He wore us. He suffered and died with us. Not a negotiated settlement for us. Not some deal where uh, God gives his son so that all the sins of all of God's sons and daughters might be washed away. God came with us. Jesus on the cross won his identity, his being with ours. And it wasn't just a one-way street. In that moment, all one itself with God. Mary wept. She emptied herself for God. People gathered round, wept for God who weeps for us. Joseph cared for Jesus. Rough ointment. Nicodemus did likewise as God does for us. That veil between humanity, between creation and God had been thrown asunder. God wanted God's self with us. Let's go in meditation. As we break that bread and we say, Behold what you are. May we become what we receive. We realize in that moment that the divine one the, the divine self with us. Even the created world ached and felt for God. The earth shook. The skies turned dark.
Jewish people as they were uh, taken into concentration camps that they had that so Some even sewed it into their garments. Some went through harrowing experiences to try to make matzah as they knew Passover was coming. They would sneak out, uh, risk their lives, uh, get uh, uh, some grains of wheat, crush it late into the night when they knew that the soldiers uh, were, were asleep. Uh, and they would grind it into powder and they uh, somehow worked together. Several would, would put a tiny twig uh, in their pockets or, uh, or in their garment uh, and so they could put them together and they'd get a little bit of a remaining uh, cigarette butt and they would light it and so they could make that their stove and they could make their matzah. Uh, and I don't think it was because that matzah assured them of deliverance. Promises outside of those thick Shaped in seminary by an incredible uh, priest and bishop uh, who talked about his time as a, Viet a Vietnam chaplain and said that Eucharistic theology was formed during that season. Uh, and he said uh, he's less tied to whether it's bread and wine, uh, but to whether it is the spirit of what we do when we bring bread together. He talked about uh, these young men uh, barely shaving uh, who were serving our country. He talked about times where uh, it was rice or it was some cracker uh, in their, in their uh, ration kit uh, and some juice that probably had nothing to do with grapes, but he made communion. And sometimes it was because that, that young man uh, was not going to have a chance for another meal. And it was a foretaste of that heavenly banquet. It was a reminder that this is not the end, and it pointed straight to of these young men who had done things that they would never forget, who had lost loved ones. It was life they were more afraid of than death. And in that moment, that bread was a reminder that God is present in that moment. Not some future moment, but that God is a view in all life. That God has won God's self. experiences, and they may not be as extreme, uh, but it may just be that we have a tough time waking up in the morning, or we feel lost, or we think there should be more out of life, or we just don't know where God is, or we just feel alone, we thought we'd do more by this point in our lives, we just want some answers, like somebody to care a little bit more. And stitched and fully brought God's self into our lives and invited us into God. So we stare, we stare, and it hurts. But in our stare, we do what God has done for us. We grab ourselves.